the Yaroslavl Art Museum. When you travel through Russia, do visit the city of Yaroslavl. Its old quarters are on UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites. Grand Prince Yaroslav the Wise founded this city a thousand years ago. It's a place where history is in the air. You'll see medieval churches, merchants' mansions, narrow streets, spacious squares, shaded parks, and romantic secluded walkways. The Volga Embankment is a favorite place for both the residents and visitors to Yaroslavl. The embankment offers a splendid view of the great Russian river and many museums are located here. The Yaroslavl Art Museum is one of Russia's most interesting art galleries. The museum has three buildings. The Governor's House is the museum's main building. Emperor Alexander I ordained to build it as a residence for the local governors and an ad hoc royal palace. You may now explore Russian art in the governor's house. The collection includes outstanding paintings of the 18th to the 20th centuries by Ivan Ivazovsky, Karl Brulov, Ilya Repin, Ivan Shishkin, Isaac Levitan, Aristak Lentulov, Ilya Mashkov, and Robert Falk. The collection also includes sculptures, furniture, and porcelain. It is a true feast for the eyes. As in the 19th century, the governor of the Yaroslavl region nowadays also gives receptions and presents state awards in the state rooms of the governor's house. This is also a place for performances and classical music concerts. The garden, adjacent to the governor's house, still has age-old trees. In summer, tourists are invited to enjoy a selection of contemporary sculpture amid the blooming landscape and contemplate the harmony between the works of man and nature. Russian, German and Dutch gardeners contributed to the garden at different times. The garden has incorporated the cultural traditions of various countries and different ages. The governor's garden lies next to the Sakura Garden of the Museum of International Art, located in an early 19th century mansion. The Museum of International Art displays works of well-known European artists of the 16th to the 19th centuries, including Albrecht Dürer, David Teniers the Younger, Giovanni Francesco Barbieri, and Jan Stika. You may also discover masters from the Far East, like Utagawa Tayakuni III. The displayed European and Oriental sculptures, paintings, drawings and pieces of furniture adorned the homes of residents of Yaroslavl into the 20th century. Russia opened up widely to European culture in the 1600s. The 17th century saw the heyday of Yaroslavl. Local architecture and icon painting flourished. The Metropolitan Palace, the oldest piece of civic architecture in the city, was also erected at that time. Empress Catherine the Great once stayed in this palace. Emperor Nicholas I cared for preserving the appearance of the building. The Metropolitan Palace of the Yaroslavl Art Museum 
houses a collection of unique icons of the 13th to the 17th centuries. The pride of the collection is the icon of our saviour the Pantocrata from the early 13th century. Another gem in the collection is the icon of John the Baptist, made during the reign of Ivan the Terrible in the 16th century. Of great note are icons painted in the 17th century, when Yaroslavl was in its prime. Today, we seek to catch up with the fast pace of life and capture that elusive sensation of continuous novelty and beauty. Could this kind of vision be the foundation of genuine art? The stunning architecture and amazing art of old Yaroslavl reassert the ancient adage, life is short and art is long. So don't waste time. Come and see, reflect and sense. Welcome to our museum.